So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times closely in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Mystery. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. All right, so here we are back inside Bell Center, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. This is as loud and as knowledgeable as proud as we'll experience really all year on the UFC Roadshow. It's a great fight environment. Bell Center is a fantastic venue. What type of performance are you going to give these great fans tonight? Lee gets hit with a flush uppercut there. The right hand just misses. Keep the Goes upstairs for an elbow. Beautiful combination by the champion there. Man, not sure if there was a gentleman's agreement for no feeling out. They are getting after it right out of the shoot. No feeling out process. These guys are here to end this fight quickly. Oh, with authority, the body. So more output, at least in the early going. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice kick, yo. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Head kick, that's a miss. Just over three minutes to go round one. Oh, 
Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Beautiful little hook. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Wow. Nice straight punch there. Oh. Another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Beautiful combination there. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. Oh! He's hurt Ninety seconds to go. Some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Oh, nice. We approach the one minute mark in the first round. Lee's now switching his stance. That punch, no good. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Way to test the chin there. Landing a beautiful combination to the head. Thirty seconds to go. And there's that jab. 20 seconds left. Oh, rips the body shot there. All right, here, final seconds of round one. It's work, guys, come on. Right. Second round, straight ahead. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush. Go back out to the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. You ready to fight? Ready. All Good. right, second round underway. What a kick. That one landed. Oh, switch kick. Nailed it. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect, and this guy has done this technique thousands of times. Oh, man, hit the plan. Threw a flying knee to the head. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble.
table inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night that that landed. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And he can show it in this performance. Oh, almost like you saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. Just over three minutes to go. Lands a solid kick right there. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Just misses with the jab. Get some work, guys. Get that high kick up there. Oh, great block there. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Two minutes to go in round two. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Oh, a huge block there. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Lee's forehead is bleeding now. Cut is open. Just misses with the left hook. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Working off the jab, it's good. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Back to the jab now. Taking a lot of body shots this round. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Ready to fight? Ready. Come All on. right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their... Oh, oh he dove and he lands. Wow. Oh, another...
another heavy shot gets through. These pass attempts do not. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cup with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Oh! Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Well, new round. Oh! And back to his feet. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. Just over three minutes to go. Right idea, poor execution, the counter right, no good. Oh! That'll do it! Oh my god! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time, I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. We go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, one second of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer for all styles. Bruce Lee with authority is your winner here tonight.